now I've handed my must do, my bucket list to go around the world. I decided to do it this year. I've come through the Caribbean, the Panama Canal, and I've just, a couple of hours ago, crossed the equator. I'm in Galapagos. You know, naively, I thought all the piranhas were locked away in Formula One, but actually there is another species out there, less more aggressive, I'm told. And also, meeting my lost lang friends and those people, the pirates of years gone by. I feel very accustomed, I feel very happy in their company hearing all the stories and the would-be behavioural activities of those people. But the reason I'm speaking to you, of course, is to inform you that I'm going to be back. I'm coming back to do Formula One. Uh, I'll be in China, of course, and I must thank Lee for that. Lee rang me and said, would I not really consider again coming back and doing another year? And, of course, that mouth-watering opportunity of having Susie, Lee and me when we banished DC off to the commentary box. It was so tempting. How could I not possibly be there? Formula One, 2013. For me, it has untold opportunities. Insofar as driver changes, the management changes, everything that goes on to make it exciting. We haven't a clue who's going to win the championship this year. We've a good idea who the favourites will be, but my wish that it will be topsy-turvy, lots of different things going on. My also wish is that a team in the midfield will come to challenge those at the front. And of course, the two young teams, Caterham and Marussia, I want to see them scoring points. So many things to look forward to. Of course, we're bringing you the inside stories, stories that will be told before they actually happen, we hope. And that's what makes this team so exciting. BBC, the team itself, led by Mark and Ben, who is there with you today. These are amazing professionals, and each and every person who plays a major part in making this the most enjoyable job I've ever done. Happy days. Galapagos, here we go.